Uh, ooh, I'm excited for you. What are you doing today? I appreciate you being here, hanging out. Uh, but let me get you guys opened up over here. Sorry, I'm gonna shake for just a second as I turn my notifications off. There we go. Hi, everybody, happy Monday. I'm sorry I abandoned you last week. I know, I'm, I'm wearing my dino shirt today and it manifested dinosaurs because I found a lot of like vintage dinosaurs today. You're not gonna see them in today's haul because I am hoarding them because I told you guys, every time I show dinosaur stuff, you guys always buy it from me. So I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> And it just went immediately into the dinosaur drop. One sec, I need to plug in my iPad. That was what I was doing before I started. I know. Oh, thank you. But yeah, it's a image, uh, I think it's from the 90s. And it basically has all the dinosaurs that would fit into this like big stegosaurus. So I just think that's so cool. I'm a big a dinosaur nerd. <laughs> I freaking love them. I've got two dinosaur t-shirts and I feel like I don't wear them in Good. Hi, see, how are you? Thank you so much for your support, by the way. Uh, but yes, exactly, literally. <laughs> uh, but hi, Love Served Love, how are you? Hi, Jessica, how are you? Welcome, welcome, everybody. Happy Monday. Thank you, you guys. I posted a little sneak peek of the store. Lucas and I went to Home Depot on Sunday, yesterday, and we bought the paint and he was like, do you just want to paint today? And I was like, yes. So we painted the store. Um, it's almost done. Tonight we're going to walk down there to see how it dried and everything after my therapy appointment. So got like a busy day today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a lot to catch up on. I know you guys are like, wait, well, how was the estate? Like one second. <laughs> so yeah, we did painting on Sunday, which turned out amazing. Hi, Zan, how are you? Um, I think it looks pretty good. I, I think we've gotten pretty good feedback from it, too. I was really nervous about the green color. It's still wet in that video, so I think it's a little bit brighter than it should be. Hopefully it dried darker, but I'm pretty excited for it. It matches my pothos, like, perfectly, which is such a weird thing to say, but this storefront is going to have like a specific design based around like earthy tones and stuff. So I think it fits really well. Thank you, Sarah. But yeah, and so I was looking for a green that kind of, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I think it's going to tie in nicely. It, I'm excited for it either way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a green wall and that green wall that I like shared in the sneak peek will kind of be like the kids section right at the window. And then to the right of it is going to be like a photo station. So you can like try on clothing and take photos if you wanted to. And I think it's going to look really nice as like an accent wall because I'm going to have a big gold mirror on it. But yeah, so I've been working on all of that. <laughs> now, the estate sale went on from Thursday to Saturday, and it was really good. I think it turned out pretty well for being, like, on a spring break weekend and, like, Easter weekend as well. So I think we were kind of, like, battling that. And I noticed there were no other estate sales happening in our area, which makes me think that it's probably, like, not a common weekend for them, you know, like, with the estate sale companies. So, anyways, I think it went really well, though, for, like, all those factors playing into it. We moved a lot of stuff, and it was kind of fun to be on the other side of it, um, just kind of, like, watching it all go. Um, yeah, so that was really, like, a very eye-opening experience as well. I don't think I would ever want to go down the route of an estate sale company, but I do think I am going to try, like, try to keep working with estate sale companies, like, side by side. Um, very new perspectives yeah and like also just like dealing with some of the customers um I, it, the audacity is what I have to say about it some of the people that shopped at the sale I was just like <laughs> um so I I'm not sure I'm letting her kind of deal with all of that I was kind of just like stepped back for a little bit and I was like I'll let you deal with that part so I'm not sure I did give her like some of my thrift store connections uh but that wanted like the donations and stuff so I'm going to talk to her and see if she needs help like transferring I'm not really sure where it's going to go from here if that makes sense um I'm just kind of like letting her I'm like stepping back now <laughs> uh, but but yeah and now I am full force on the storefront which is just like crazy that it's already here. Um, but yeah, so basically the next two weeks, I'm going to be setting up the stream room there and working on putting up the clothing racks, hanging things up and starting to kind of lay it out for the store. And then hopefully in two weeks, yes, two weeks is hopefully going to be the soft opening. Um, and I'm not going to announce it. It's just going to be on my Instagram kind of this like, if you're local and you want to sign up for a private shopping like hour with a friend, like feel free to DM me. And I'm just going to do it by appointment for the first two weeks to really just give myself a moment to kind of like get in the groove of having a store um and then on top of that in two weeks I will also 
living room over there set up. So I'm probably gonna do some live shows where it's just me talking with you guys and setting up like the new clothing racks and like that kind of stuff. Um, and that's probably gonna be next week. So I will schedule those shows if you guys are not yet following me because then I will update you guys through there. Um, but yeah, so that's that's happening as well. So it's just like a little bit, a little bit hectic, but we're kind of back to more prioritizing the storefront. I don't have such a um, overwhelming like a sense of like everything happening at once. <laughs> um, I am in Oregon in the Willamette Valley. If you are feel like anywhere close to me in the Willamette Valley, feel free to DM me and I can send you the um, grand opening link. But yeah, and I do have it on Facebook with the, like an event and I also have it scheduled on my Instagram as well. If you guys are local and you want to shop the grand opening, it is going to be on May 1st. But yeah, in two weeks we'll be soft opening and if you want to private shop, um, feel free to DM me as well because I would love to have you guys in there giving me kind of like the lowdown of how you feel about it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm super excited. It's kind of just like all starting to fall together and it just kind of feels surreal. Like painting yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, this is mine. <laughs> like I can do whatever I want in here. Like I texted my landlord and I was like, can I like paint the walls? Like is, I just want to confirm this is okay. And he was like, please do whatever you want, Riley. And I was like, say less. <laughs> so anyways, that just like is a really exciting thing right now. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think of what else. And also, I know you guys were, hi Jenny, how are you? Happy Monday. Um, I was going to keep you guys updated on a store counter because I was asking you guys for advice on where to find one. And then I was sitting and I was like, you know what? Hi Catalina. Um, I was like, you know what? I should just ask my grandpa. My grandpa woodworks. Like he's, he's a woodworker. And so I called him and I was like, hey, <laughs> would you be able to help me with the store counter? So tomorrow we're going to go to the store and measure out like the counter space and everything and he said he was going to be able to build it for me so it's gonna be really special as well to have like a furniture piece that's hand built by my grandpa in my storefront and he was like and we're gonna make it mobile so you could take it to the pop-ups and stuff I'm like, yes <laughs> um but yeah hi arden how are you hi catalina happy monday hi converse but yeah so anyways i think that was all the updates did i miss anything yes of course um i'm gonna turn the first giveaway for you guys and we'll get started it was good i did i didn't even realize it was easter if i'm being completely honest we didn't really do anything for it other than <laughs> um but yeah so i hope that you guys had a great um i know okay arden i was gonna dm you your box was in the floorboard of my car and it never got dropped off to the post office so it is going out first thing tomorrow morning i was trying to figure out i was like what's this box doing at the bottom of my car so if that's an issue at all please message me okay um but yeah, anyways, <laughs> um, my, um, no, this is not going to be pre-loved items. There is some new with tags mixed in as well. Uh, but, but yeah, most of this is going to be pre-loved. Welcome in everybody. But yeah, hello, hello, everybody. Uh, but thanks Arden for understanding. I feel so bad. I, I literally was going to message you after the show and be like, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, sitting the 18th and it just started tracking. Yeah, no, you guys, I don't know what's going on with the tracking. I, several of you guys messaged me over the weekend saying that your items were not tracking. I don't know what's going on because <laughs> I'm pretty caught up on packages. Um, and today I sent out the last of them that were not caught up. Hi, Shan. How are you? Happy Monday. Hi, Tony. Hi, Caitlin. Um, but yeah, so message me again um, if it's still not updated, but I think they updated this weekend. Um, yeah. And I think it, I think it's just their tracking system right now. Hey, how are you, North? Um, because I, I got several messages this weekend. It was all from one batch. So I'm wondering if the scan sheet didn't work or something. Um, but yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. And then someone said too that I made a new label for them and they never got tracking for it. So it's also possible if you're like not seeing an item in your bundle, but you know you bought it, it's possible it's coming. It's just in a separate package. Like it didn't all fit into one or something like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, <laughs> they never work. I feel like it's a hit or miss. Go figure, right? Um, but yeah. <laughs> is being a butt for Mitty. Yeah. And that's what I figured. Hi, Michelle. Happy Monday to you as well. But hi, Tony. How are you? So uh, but please have patience. I think it's just the post office. My post office is very short staffed right now. They have three of their main workers sick or injured. So our post office running on like a skeleton crew right now so i am trying to be a super patient with them as well just giving them grace because i know that they're being overworked by a ton right now um and so that also could be playing into it as well they might just like have a little bit of a hiccup happening um with two route people that deliver is so small and sad um yeah yeah literally and it's like and the post office right now i feel like they're pretty short staffed running on like a skeleton crew in most places so keep that in mind when you're interacting with them because i don't know about you guys but my post office workers are 
like heaven said, they're amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a case for many offices. It's unfortunate and hopefully they're able to figure something out. Um, a new carrier every week, they're like, yeah, I don't know about this job I'm out. <laughs> Okay, so today, you guys, as you guys have know, um, kind of started talking about it last week, there will be a shift in how my shows are ran. Mondays are now dedicated to thrift hauls. Um, this is a completely claimable thrift haul. Most things are just going to be a $5 start, if not a dollar start. Um, this is going to be a kind of a new introduction. We're going back to the old roots of Swansory Finds. This is what we used to do a lot. If you guys missed it, I just got into a therapy program. I am in therapy classes every Monday from 5.30 to 7.30, and I didn't want to have a big drop happening right before my appointment. So this was kind of my way to like get myself in a good mood, go through some good thrift finds, still interact with you guys. And then I can go to a therapy appointment and not super stress about being late or anything like that. <laughs> um, and this will also be a fun way to kind of get shows going and also start the week for you guys as well. Cause maybe you just want to hang out on a Monday. You just want to watch what I found, <laughs> but I, I miss the thrift hauls. And I think it, from last week's show, it sounded like you guys did as well. Uh, but yeah, Catalina, good for you. <laughs> good for you. But yeah, so, and then like I said, this will be eventually where we'll be doing it at the store. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. it. I got a lot of messages after the show as well, just saying how much they miss like having that like kind of like ongoing show where they can just chat and then like watch the finds and not so much feel pressured to like purchase or like, I don't know, like be there the entire time because it's a certain drop they're waiting on certain items. You know, this is just completely random. It's literally exactly what I found at the bins. Um, I found 200 pounds today, so it is a big haul. <laughs> um, and like I said, some pieces are pre-claimed. I have, whenever I post on Instagram, I do allow for pre-claims. Um, so there are some pieces when I pull tonight, I will tell you if they're pending or not. If they're not pending, I'll just run them for you. You don't need to tell me to run. It's kind of just a relaxed, laid back show. If you like something, feel free to bid. Money from these shows will be going straight towards my storefront as well. So I appreciate the support um, going towards some decor. But yeah, so we've got quite the haul. We've got some trinkets, like some plush. Um, the squishmallows that I did find today, I did put to the side to wash. So you won't see the squishmallows until the squishmallows show. 60, sec or 60 seconds. Sorry, I'm reading the number. A wrong thing. I'm just going to tell you guys like, if it was running, but it's a little late now. <laughs> I'm going to send you a little face mask. Okay, Melanie, congratulations. Melanie, sorry, I said that completely wrong. Um, so here we go, you guys. Let's go ahead and just get us started. I feel like I want to start with something simple, but super cool. Let's start. Okay, we're going to start with a plush item, even though I was going to say I was going to do clothing, but I think this is so cute. This is a vintage sea otter. Yes, of course. Um, it's a vintage sea otter plush, and then it has this little baby attached in its arms. So let's go ahead. Um, thank you. Yeah, Swansori finds on Instagram. And if you're going on TikTok, it's Swansori. But isn't that adorable? So like I said, I'm just going to run everything for you guys. If you like it, feel free to bid. If not, no worries. And we'll just do 10 seconds. Um, that way it runs fast as well, okay? But yeah, so this one has a little baby otter. It's a little plush. And then he has his little um, arms around the mama. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Um, but yeah, feel free to message me if you guys have any questions as well. Uh, but yeah, and then I'm just going to literally go through things like really randomly. So bear with me. <laughs> it's very random. You know, it was so cute. I know that there's people that always ask for otter stuff. So I'm sure they'll be excited in the plush show. This one is an extra large Nike crew neck and it's like a nice black dry fit. And this one I believe is a women's cut as well. Extra large on this one. And then let me get it running for you guys. Extra large Nike um, crew neck and it's a dry fit material and an all black extra large in women's on this one two seconds left um but yeah and then once the item just ran I won't go back unless there's a request for it so you guys won't see things we ran today okay these ones there's a ton of really good denim tonight I found four or five pairs of this you guys um I, I it was a lot <laughs> so four or five pairs of these they're little elastic waistband denim pants from Knox Rose they're so cute they're brand new and they're size 1x so you're gonna see a lot of these today um and well it's kind of important when you're trying to clean with <laughs> And so I see that kind of interaction all the time and it drives me nuts. I always want to stand up for them and be like, hey, be nice. <laughs> Hi, Katie. How are you? But yeah, size 1X on these ones. They're going to be so cute for the springtime. You can roll them up or cuff them at the bottom. And then they have that elastic waistband and a big pocket in the front too. Oh my gosh. And it was past five too. Oh my gosh. That's the worst. I, you know, there's people that will do that where they come in like right before closing and then they get mad at the postal workers. And I'm like, bro, they're literally about to close. <laughs> um, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. 
Okay, this next one, you guys, is BKE. These ones are a size. They're the mid-rise ankle skinny in a size 26. Get your ID and come back in the morning. <laughs> Um, these are cute for spring too. They're like a nice light wash and these ones were buckled denim and a size 26 and they are running right now. But yeah, we'll just kind of do random pulls today. If you guys have any rerun requests, just let me know as well. Um, but running now, these ones were a size 26 by BKE, the Stella Cut Mid-Rise Ankle Skinnies. All right, let's see if I can try and grab like a little blouse for you guys. Oh, this one is so pretty. Okay, if no one claims this, I'm thinking... I'll show you what I mean. So I'll show you this one and then I'll show you the T. But I have a feeling that someone's gonna claim this one because it is beautiful. This is brand new with the tags. Um, let me find a little hanger. Just a couple by minutes. No, I fear people will never surprise me. No, people really don't surprise me anymore. Like people can be jerks and I'm like, oh cool, we're still doing that. <laughs> um, with the small words. Yeah, I'm gonna show up right after this one, okay? But I'm thinking, would you guys be down for like a summer sunset drop? Kind of like a kind of orange, yellow, and cream color palette. I think that would be really fun. Like almost like a sunflower, like uh sunset drop i guess okay but anyways this is what inspired it and then there's another one you'll see right after this that i feel like would you totally fit the theme this is a little wrap dress and it's brand new with the tags from shy um simply and it's a size large this one is really pretty and it's like a midi high low wrap style it's got ruffles has a very subtle pattern to it and then it does come with the belt as well kind of like a wrap style size large new with tags as well it's really pretty um okay so there's this dress and then wait for it this is literally i saw these and i was like wow this just inspired a whole drop <laughs> um which is like I, I love to do it this way i don't know if i'll be able to fit it <laughs> um and catalina says i specialize in <laughs> hugs <laughs> that's hilarious i miss that um this one is shein and it's a size small but how cute is this um you should do orange for summer for my hair i thought about it i thought it would be kind of fun to do that um and then it says let's watch the sunset but literally this is what inspired the drop i was like ooh. <laughs> um, and it's a size small. I'll run it just in case anybody wants it. Shein size small, and it is a boxy small. Like you could fit this into a medium. Um, they're cutting the character limit again. What the heck? <laughs> You're fine, Sarah. Four seconds left on this high neighborhood. This one was uh, Shein size small. Watch the sunset. All right, Jenny likes it. Thank you. <laughs> I was typing today. I was texting someone back, and I literally had like typo after typo. I was like, this is embarrassing. I am so sorry. <laughs> This would be really cute with some little denim that's high waisted. Um, all right, neighborhood's holding it down and is gonna take it. Thank you so much. That is all yours. I definitely specialize in hugs. I don't know if I would say I specialize in hugs. I feel like I'm an awkward hug giver. <clears throat> Thank you, neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I'm just not um, just not a really good hugger. Like I could definitely practice, I think. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm very awkward, but I've already told you guys that I'm just awkward in general. Okay, this next one, <laughs> just not for weirdos. Um, this next one is a leather jacket. It's freaking stunning. This one is by Ca um, Casa Blanca. Blanca? Casablanca, a size 40 in men's, and it's this beautiful, kind of like a red brown leather. It sounds so. Um, ye oh my gosh. I am the when it comes to like consoling someone, like, or like making them feel okay. I literally, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like crying with them by the end of it. And I'm like, oh, I made this worse, I think. <laughs> uh, but oh no, hi Hannah, it's okay. We just start, oh, this is, this is so cute. It's 100% leather. This is cute and it's a mint. Buttons on the right side are a mint size, right? This is good, this fits really well. I would say this is like a true size large for women's. I know, this is cute. Okay, let's run it, you guys. Um, <laughs> I know I kind of want to, but I, I really have so many jackets. I don't need another one, don't tell me that. <laughs> Um, but here we go. Let's run it. And it's 100% leather as well. Genuine leather. Beautiful though. And it does have pockets as well. I would say like best for a size large in women's on that one. Oh, that is gorgeous. Thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. Thank you. I, you guys always tell me that about blazer jackets and I always consider keeping them. And then I just never grab them when I'm getting dressed. Tony, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, I know these are expensive. <laughs> I know. I know that's a steal. You guys, thank you so much, Tony. I just realized that would look so cute with that little graphic too. Okay. And then next up, you guys, let's do, let's do these ones because they've got, <laughs> you guys know, steals and deals over here. Um, Joe's jeans. I think these ones are going to be, 
a size 24. So these are like more um, like junior sizing, I would say, but you could totally, um, if you're an extra small, probably get away with these, but these are a size 24. Holy freaking moly. Okay. My favorite thing is seeing what the Goodwill like charge, like the actual store before they hit the bins. Goodwill was charging $24.99 for these. I mean, Joe's jeans are good, but I don't know about that. <laughs> size 24 running right now for you guys. Size 24 Joe's jeans. They're really stretchy though. And then they do have a nice dark wash to them and they're high waisted. Um, um, <laughs> that's like regular pricing. <laughs> literally. That's insane. Um, but yeah, you'll see, I'll try and show the tags tonight when they're funny because it's literally, sometimes it just shocks me. Okay. This one is, what is this? How does this work? Okay. Here's the neck of it. Oh, I see. It's like a little, um, it's like a thneed. <laughs> it is a little, it comes off of the, How's it cover your boobs? I see, I see. Okay, okay. Here we go. Um, <laughs> it's like a V-neck and then it has like a little cutout on the top there. You see what I'm saying? Um, so it's a little bit more of like a wrap style. What's this one though? What is this? Yeah, I see. It's just slouchy. Um, anyways, I was like, what is this? <clears throat> that's true. I guess it is true. That's pretty because Joe's jeans retail for like $98, right? Um, true Arden. <laughs> These, this one, it looks like it's going to be a size extra large. It doesn't have a size tag on it at all, but it, I'm going to say like a size extra large. It looks slouchy, but if you have a bigger chest, this is going to hug you really nicely. Hi, baby. I'm going to text you today because I finally think I have a little bit of time to drive out. <laughs> Um, so size extra large is probably going to be best. It's like a little crop top and then it has this little wrap around your bust here. Bet. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost tried to message you that last week and I was like, no, I do not have time this week. Sam, thank you so much. That is all yours. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I will text you. <laughs> I'm kind of getting back on track this week, which feels good. Okay, next up, this one is primitive. BB, I don't know if you're still in here. This might be something you like for your con. Um, uh, this one is sick. It's so, it does have some wear to it. It is from, let's see. Dragon Ball Primitive. And then let me get it on a hanger so you guys can see it. It's going good, Hannah. It's like slowly coming together. Yesterday we painted and it's starting to like really feel real now. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, this one does have some wash wear and discoloration to it. So please keep that in mind. But it's primitive. Thank you. I'm really excited about the paints. I almost did green throughout the whole piece, but I feel like the cream accent wall is going to be really nice. Um, it does not have a size on it. Oh, there it is. Medium size, medium on this one running right now. Yes, there is a few pieces of plus size tonight. And I do have a plus size show, um, show coming up. Um, I don't know if it's scheduled, so you can message me and I'll send it to you when I do have it up. Okay. Um, okay. And then next up, thank you, Hannah. I I'm hoping that it'll look good with all the clothing in there too. I think once it like fills up, it won't look so empty because <laughs> right now it just looks like a mess to me. Okay. Let's do this one next. Let's see. I'm going to grab do this one. I haven't done the kids piece yet, right? Okay, this one is Tommy Bahama size five and girls. This one's so cute. It's perfect for the springtime. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, no, no denim jackets tonight, Arden. I don't think so. I might have one, but I do not remember off the top of my head if I grabbed it or not. So um, no guarantees on that. I'm so sorry. Uh, Tommy Bahama Girls on this one, size five. This is precious for the springtime. Running right now for you guys. It's a little patchwork dress, and then it has the little lacy details to it. Crosses over in the back, and then it's a nice little tear with smocking as well. Size five. Thank you, Live Thrift Love. And this one was a size five in Girls Tommy Bahama. There we go. I'm trying to show it so it doesn't look all funky. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Live Thrift Love. I also thrifted a bunch of these hangers today. They're like a little wooden hanger with no uh, bottom to them. I was very excited for that because I realized I'm going to need a ton of hangers for the storefronts. <laughs> and wooden hangers are so expensive. And I, I like the idea, like, all of my hangers are secondhand. So it, like, goes with my brand, you know? And so I'm, like, really, like, on the fence right now of buying hangers or just trying to source more. 
So far I've had luck sourcing them. So I'm hoping I can just keep getting them secondhand. Okay, this next one is going to be so cute for a little country music festival. Pair this with some little cowboy boots for the rodeo season. It's a little American Eagle dress. It's perfect pattern, has a little bit of a tear to it. It laces up in the back and it's a size medium. I almost kept this one for myself because this is so cute. It's a mini dress for sure. So you're gonna wanna make sure you wear some little shorts underneath there, or you could twirl around, let it air out. Um, running right now, it does have adjustable straps and then it corsets in the back. Size medium on this beautiful little summer dress. You never know. <laughs> Thank you, C. Oh, I'm so glad you like this one. This is so cute. And I love this little corset detail back here. This would be really cute with a little lacy bralette. Thank you, C. That is all yours. Great pickup. I do have a lot of bras, um, bralettes tonight, too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for plugging me. <laughs> I do have denim jackets in my storefront. So if you're local, there's going to be two, four, two, three, four, five. Five denim jackets in the storefront opening. Um, so, and then I think we're going to do a show the week after the grand opening with everything that was in the storefront. So I know that I have got denim jackets coming up for sure. And then definitely in the Boho Coastal show. Um, Kelly, today's show, we will be going until five o'clock, um, five o'clock PST, just because I have my therapy at 530. I am in Oregon. So if you're close to the Willamette Valley, uh, let me know and I can send you the address. Okay. This is adorable. And I am so sad it's not my size because... Mm, it's literally on my Pinterest board, this exact skirt. <laughs> so this is Vintage Gap and it's a 54% wool blend and it is a size two. So it's an extra small. Dang it, Arden. <laughs> uh, but I do have some denim jackets though in my Boho Coastal show if you want to bookmark that one. Uh, but yes, yeah, I'm going to run most of the plush chest. If you're looking at Squishmallows, not today, just because I want to wash them for you guys. If you guys saw, I found a giant Harry Potter Squishmallow and it's brand new with the tags. Um, post a notice that you're looking for wooden hangers. Thank you. Good idea, Catalina. I didn't even think about that. I'll put that on my Facebook page for Swansory Finds. Good idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, only a 36 hour drive. Uh, but that's the one you were looking for. So that one's going to be in my Harry Potter core drop. So I think that one is happening this month, April, at the end of this month, I think is a Harry Potter show. And that is going to be where the Slither and Squishmallow will be. Um, and also, I think the clown show is happening this month as well. If you guys are into clown core, go on my page and bookmark it because I'm going to start preloading the show tonight. So tonight I'm going to preload the clown core show. Um, that way people can start putting in pre-bids because you guys have been messaging me and begging me on Instagram and I'm finally getting around to it. <laughs> but if you guys remember two to three weeks ago, my clown video went viral and that's been still going viral to this day. So I'm still getting thousands of messages regarding like all the clowns I found. So I'm trying, <laughs> trying to preload them in so that people can at least like place a preview if they want to. But yeah, if you scroll down to my profile, it's on there. It's just labeled clown core show. Okay. Next up, you guys, these are posh diva. I don't know. I think these are a dupe of something, but I cannot remember. Um, clowning cycles. No way. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Uh, but these ones look like they could totally be a little maternity because they have like a very low waistband there. They're a size medium nylon spandex and they're really stretchy, full length and a nice like charcoal gray. And they're so soft. Like they're a really nice material. Let that belly hang out. Honestly, these look so comfortable. And then they sculpt your butt too. Like look at that seam back there. It has room for the cheeks and it does have pockets as well. Size medium on those ones. <laughs> Honestly, the, the crossover waistbands are so comfy. <laughs> we all we all ride every Wednesday and on Halloween we dress up as the evil clowns and ride That is so cool. What the heck? Our town does not have something like that. <laughs> um, this next one, you guys, is cut from the cloth and they're a size four. So they're going to be like an extra small, small. These are so cute. Really nice medium wash and cut from the cloth on these ones. Um, Kelly Cloth from Out of Space. No, that is, I know, you were too cool. That is so cool. <laughs> High waisted on these ones. Nice, like medium wash and they're cut from the cloth size four. Thank you, Jenny. I'm glad you like those ones. I was folding them up. <laughs> um, clown Squishmallows and Moreno Clowns. Oh, yes. Our Jordan, you want to be at that clown core show though because I got you. There are some really good pieces in that show. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, as Violet J from ICP. Okay. Insane Clown Posse. I don't know if I actually have ever looked into them. Uh, but and I think it was because I was so sheltered. Like we were like not allowed to look into like anything clown related. <laughs> ICP is the insane clown posse. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I know this.
this. <laughs> okay, next up, you guys, these ones are little kids pants. They're size nine months, and they're going to run for a dollar because they do have some wear to them, but I just thought they were so cute. They have little vehicles on them and then little cars, and then they have little road signs as well, um, and we're just going to get them running with you guys. Yeah, like, like a wrap metal. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Here we go. One dollar start running right now for you guys, um, and they've got a little stretchy band. Then uh, What were they? Nine months size on those ones. <laughs> it's your old car. Oh, a little Volkswagen. Is that what it was? Maybe. There's a lot of cars on here, actually, now that I'm looking. <laughs> um, I actually was just talking about my car today with Lucas. So I was like, I don't know if I'm ready to part with it yet. I love my car. My little Honda. <laughs> um, oh, cute. Okay, this next one is just a little dress. And honestly, I picked this up because of one thing. And I thought this would be super cute as we get into like rodeo season with some little cowgirl boots and just a little exhilaration sundress. And it has a cold shoulder with a little bell sleeve to it. Um, it does have a slip dress, so it's not see-through. But another one that I just thought would be so cute with some cowgirl boots. Um, I feel like this tag is really altering how it looks. One second, I'm going to try and take this tag off. There we go. But now that I have a storefront, I have to keep this kind of stuff in mind because we have a country music festival um, where this stuff is like totally going to be perfect for it. But yeah, this one is a size medium, exhilaration size medium, little Western style dress. And then it has little flare sleeves with lacy details to it as well. It's actually so cute. Um, any black or old clothing? Yes and yes. Um, let me see if I can pull some forward for you, okay? I know that I have a bunch of kids Disney coming up as well. Dark Lady, thank you so much. That is all yours. How are you? Um, kids clothing, Disney kids clothing coming up. I see a patch of it. Um, I found a bunch of kids Disney stuff. But yeah, I think there was some alt stuff. Let me, I know that there's like a corset belt as well. Let's see, this one's black. I don't know what this is little puffer jacket. This one is Calvin Klein packable lightweight premium down jacket. And this one is a size extra, extra large. This is cute. Let's see. Oh, it does have a flaw down here, actually. I'll totally blend it in with this scene. Dang it. Okay, I'll run it for a dollar in case anybody does want it still. It does have a little tear right here though. So let's run it for a dollar just in case anybody does. It's an extra, extra large Calvin Klein packable down jacket. Whoops, what happened? There we go. <laughs> um, extra, extra large Calvin Klein puffer jacket. And like I said, it does have a little tear down there. Where'd it go? It's really hard to see. There it is, but it is on the side right there. Two seconds left. Okay, and I'm gonna put this one to the side so I don't forget about that. There we go. Okay, let's do, let's see. I'm looking for black clothing. <laughs> okay, black definitely not, but I'll pull this one too. too. This one is calligraphy size extra large dang it <laughs> extra large this is gonna be so cute for the springtime and then i'll grab another piece after this for you guys extra large on that one and this one was by calligraphy has little flowers stitched in and then it has flowers in the sleeves with a little puff isn't that cute i know it's like the perfect teal color too it's kind of like a turquoise teal and this one was an extra large that is so cute i'm actually shocked no one grabbed that okay next up is a wool blend this is so soft you get on a hanger I keep grabbing hangers and then setting them down. <laughs> this one is DKNY and it's like a Y2K size medium and it's 100% wool, really soft wool. It has a nice little quarter zip detail to it. DKNY Y2K running right now, size medium and it's 100% wool, really soft and has a great stretch to it as well. Dang it, <laughs> it's a really nice piece. I was excited to find this one. All right, and I know there's also a pair of Lulu today too. Totally forgot to tell you guys that. Let's see, let's do this one. What's this? And a little black bralette. Okay, I just found a bunch of black stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. The sizes on the docks. Oh, um, no, but I know that they're all in this bag and we can try to get through this bag so I can show you. Uh, but yeah, Kelly, no worries. No problem at all. No worries. It was just the DKNY, right? Size medium, 100% linen, or 100% right now guys dk and my half zip on this one i have three pairs of docks um they're all in like pre-left condition but i have no problem um showing them again oh let me know if it was something else <laughs> um and i'll run it one more time just in case as well dk and my size medium and it was 100 percent wool um but yeah let me know if it was something else that you were thinking of dk and my all right and then let me go ahead and i can try and dig up some docks as well but i just pulled some black clothing forward so i'll try and run some of that first and let me know if it's not working for you okay um and i can try running it one more time too 
too, okay? <laughs> um, this next one is a little black lacy slip dress in a size 34 by Gotham. Gold stripe tag is what it's called. Gotham size 34, so it's gonna be like a size small and it has a lacy top to it with adjustable straps and then it does have the little lace hinge um, hem at the bottom here as well. Um, hey, I'm here for it, that's why I source it. <laughs> uh, but this is really cute and I actually, my friend um, was at the estate sale and she was trying on little slip dresses. We were talking about the new style where you like have a t-shirt underneath your slip dress. I think it's such a cute trend. Hi, Jessica, how are you? But yeah, this one is a size 34. So it's going to be like a size small and it does have adjustable straps. And then it has that lacy hem at the bottom. But yeah, we were talking about all the layering styles going on right now. And they're so freaking cute. <laughs> I want to find a slip dress so I can do it. All right. And then next up, you guys, we have, I'll do one more little black piece and then we'll get back into some color. This one is a bralette and it is from, well, no size tag. <laughs> It was cut out. No size tag on this one. It was cut out, um, but it's a really pretty black lacy bralette. It's going to be like a large, extra large. Um, no, I don't have any kilts today. Sorry about that. Gosh, that's such a pretty back on that. Look at all the lace details. Um, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. I'm really enjoying the sunshine. Large, extra large on this one running right now for you guys. Um, I wish the demonias, oh, aren't those so precious? I literally am obsessed with those and I wish they were my size. <laughs> um, I find demonias a lot though, so I will keep that in mind that you are interested interested in that kind of style because I do find them quite often. Sammy, thank you so much. That is all yours. Nice pickup. That's really pretty. Um, but yeah, I find demonias quite a bit and I also find pleaser heels quite a bit as well. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'll keep you in mind then. Yeah. I love finding that kind of stuff. And for some reason, our like thrift stores get so many of them. <laughs> Size 10 absolution. These are so good. Democracy absolution. So they have a built in size eight, nine. Okay. Noted. Um, and they have a built in, um, like slimming waistband to them. These are really nice though. These are um, going to be a size 10 to so like a medium and they're running right now. Democracy on those ones really nice high-waisted kind of like a darker wash as well yeah these are really nice i have yet to pull a pair of democracies for myself and sometimes i get tempted these ones tempted me <laughs> all right and then we have let's see let's do this little skirt right here this one has adjustable um waistband to it it is vintage from oh no this one is more modern great west uh great northwest size 1x um and this one is so cute Oh, yes. I know. I'm, I'm here for it, though. <laughs> um, whoopsies. There we go. It has a nice stretchy waistband. It does tie at the waist as well. Does it have pockets? I keep feeling what I thought was a pocket, but I think it's just a seam. And this one's going to be mid-length for you guys. So it's going to hit about mid-shin, okay? Um, the emo face is dying. But yeah, I, I feel like the emo face is... is it's dying, but I think it's going to come back. Honestly, I feel like it comes back in the fall time, like summertime comes and everybody's like, okay, let's do a little pastelies. Um, and then I feel like September hits and it comes back in. <laughs> I'm hopeful. Okay. And here we go running for uh, right now for you guys. That's how I feel too. I feel like I, I'm not in for the trends anymore. I just do what I like. <laughs> exactly. It's 24 seven for me as well. I, I totally get that. That's kind of, I, I used to try and follow the trends and then it just, I realized how like stressful that was. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do what makes me happy. <laughs> and I'm gonna wear what's comfortable to me. Um yeah, exactly. I dress for me. Exactly. Um, red, black, or green. That's a good color combo, though. Size medium, lucky brand. This is so cute. Size medium, and it's like a little knit sweater. It does have a little bit of a crop to it. There's a little fuzzy. Let me get it because it's gonna drive me nutty. There it is. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see what the fabric is. It's really soft. It is a hidden fabric tag. Where is it? 41% polyester, 20% recycled polyester, 17 nylon, and 16% acrylic, and 6% wool. That is quite the blend. Running right now, Lucky Brand size medium, and it is a little knit sweater. It's very soft and has a really good stretch to it as well. There's another little fuzzy that I was trying to get earlier. It's the same one. <laughs> um, size medium on that one. It's running right now for you guys. Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or for your health. True though. <laughs> Thank you, Live Thrift Love. I appreciate you. That's all yours. Okay, and then next up, you guys, this one is, let's see, I'll do another pair of these pants. Like I said, I have like five pairs of them tonight. Size 1X. They're high-waisted, new without tags from Knox Rose, and they have a nice elastic waistband to them. High-waisted, nice dark wash. Five seconds left on those ones. I feel that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice stretchy waistband on those ones. Size 1X. I was really excited to find them though. They're going to be perfect for the storefront too. It's a nice little filler piece. Okay, let's do this little dress. This one's a little neutral dress by... 
come on there we go faded glory and it's a size large <laughs> um y2k moment for this one and it's like a little um not denim it's more of like a a lighter weight material what's it 100% rayon. I almost said polyester. Rayon on this one, nice and soft material. And it's like a little midi dress size was a size, ooh, what did I say? Size large. <laughs> size large on that one. Let me know if you guys want me to rerun it, but it is going to be mid length. It hits like mid shin. <clears throat> okay, let's do this one because I think somebody was requesting this size. Catherine's. This one is a 3X. Oh yeah, hi, Ruby. Let me rerun it. No, you're not weird at all. I actually just had a conversation with somebody else about that. And I just got a bunch of low rise jeans in actually too. Um, <laughs> so um, depending on what size you are, I have a bunch in stock right now. Um, this next one is Catherine's in a size 3XL. It's a beautiful lacy blouse. And then I'll rerun that one right after this. Okay. Full lace in the front here. And then it does have a lacy back panel as well. 3X on this one. Yeah, Ruby, thanks for the request. Running right now. Catherine's size 3XL, beautiful neutral blouse blouse and it has a gorgeous lace in there. Um, they end up as a mid rise. <laughs> I feel like that's how it is for me too. Most low rises. Um, okay. And then let's see, let me get that other one we ran for you. There it is. This one's really cute. I think this would be cute with some little docks like Mary Jane's size large and it is running right now for you guys there we go size large this would be cute belted too. You could totally, um, put a little T underneath it as well. All right. Thank you, Ruby. I 10 seconds or two seconds left on this one. I'm tall enough it usually works. Oh, I missed it because it blocked me. There we go. Um, especially if it's true by 2K. Oh, okay. Well, I will definitely keep in mind that you guys are looking for low rise again. I was picking it up for a while and you guys were like back and forth on it. So I was like, maybe I will pick it up. <laughs> so I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> All right, let's do this one next. I don't know what this is, but it's velvet and it's very pretty. Lauren Conrad and it's a size extra small. This one's very pretty. It's full velvet, has a bubble sleeve to it as well. Extra small, like a crush velvet too. It's really pretty. Plum, and then it cinches at your waist there in the size extra small Lauren Conrad. It's velvet. <laughs> I was like, I, I keep looking at it. I'm just going to pull it. Okay. And then I see the pile of kids Disney clothes too. We'll get to that in a second. These ones are, oh, these are funky. These ones are Shein. Shein curve size 4X. And look how funky they are. <laughs> size 4X, but I would size down to maybe like a 2X, 3X on these ones. Running right now for you guys. Little funky Shein jeans. Oh, I see. It's just a little pattern. I thought that was a little mark right there, but it's the way the squares are. Um, <laughs> running right now. Two seconds left on that one. All right. And oh, these would be cute as shorts. Even like a little cuff on them. I'm going to grab a drink of water because I can feel my throat. It's like needing a cough. <laughs> Here, I'll put a giveaway for you guys. <clears throat> <coughs> what show do you have tomorrow? Ooh, good question. I actually am not sure. I plan to go after this show today, and or I guess it'll be tomorrow because I have my appointment tonight, so that won't work. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go. Let me grab water and I'll talk. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I think tomorrow I'm going to go to my unit where my inventory is at and make sure. I think we're going to go for the athletic show, but it might be something completely different. So I'm not actually sure what tomorrow's show is going to be because I pushed a bunch of shows from last week for the estate sale and it kind of filled up this week. <laughs> so I need to go through and basically look at what inventory I have and make sure I can do that drop for you guys before it's scheduled. But I am pretty sure it's going to be athletic. Um, pretty sure. <laughs> I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think when I checked today, it was looking like it was going to be the athletic athleisure. It'll be a show no matter what at 3.30 per usual. <laughs> Size 2X angels on this one. And it's a little peplum. This is so cute. Um, running right now for you guys. I appreciate you guys. You need more biker shorts. Ooh, okay. Noted. I... I think I found a few, but I might be thinking of a different drop. And that one was a 2X running right now. But yeah, I will, if not, I'll try and find some biker shorts tomorrow for the drop as well. Okay, this next one is another little dress. This one is really cute. It's like a little vintage dress from All That Jazz. This is so cute. Let me see if it has a size tag. No size tag. It was cut out. It's going to be best for like an extra small. All That Jazz. 
Yeah, that one was a 2X Brie. Let me know if you want me um, to show it again, okay? Size um, extra small on this one, running right now. Vintage, all that jazz, nice little floral dress. And this one is mid-length. Yeah, no problem. I'll show it right after this one. Okay, let me grab it for you. Hi, Kiva, how are you? This one's really cute. I think this would be really cute under some little white overalls. <laughs> I, I'm like into overalls right now too. Um, running right now for you guys. There we go. 2X on this one from Angels. And then it has a little smocking at the bottom here as well. Thank you, Brie. I'm glad you like this one. I know that there is going to be probably a plus size drop this week as well. Um, this just made me think of it. And we're talking about drops. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and have a plus size drop happen on Thursday. That's potentially going to happen. I, I have to kind of play around with my schedule a little bit. <clears throat> All right, next up, Calvin Klein for kids, size eight. And they do have an adjustable waistband. Yeah, of course, thank you. Calvin Klein for kids, size eight. Hi, Ray, how are you? And their little high-waisted Calvin Klein jeans. I know, I never find kids stuff for Calvin Klein, but every now and then, our bins will get like a bunch of it. And I just grab a few pieces from it because they're usually really nice. Okay, let's do, oh, these are another cute pair of kids jeans. I know, right? The more you know. Hudson, this is a really good women's jean brand. Um, I rarely find stuff in kids sizing by them as well. Um, these ones are going to be a kid size seven. Kid size seven Hudson jeans, and they have the little flap pockets to them. Um, <laughs> they really do, honestly. I say it all the time. I wish that half of these pieces fit me because they have such cute things for kids. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do, I'm trying to see what else we've got. This one I think is just a little crappy, size medium, um, a little crop tee. These are perfect for putting under overalls. Justify size medium, little daisy printed. Um, and it does have a little bit of stretch to it as well. But these are so cute underneath little overalls or if you're just pairing them with those little denim shorts even. Go the basic route like I do. <laughs> um, all right, then next up, this one is Chico size three, which is gonna be an extra large, really pretty little like linen style button down. Let me check the fabrics. I think it is gonna be 100% linen. Fifty-five percent linen, and then the rest is rayon. Running now, size extra large, really pretty little neutral blouse, a button down, and then it's a linen rayon blend to it. Chico size extra large. Um, two seconds left on that one. I'm trying to get to some goth stuff. I know there's more in here, but it is kind of just random. Hi, Cedar. How are you? This looks cute. I can't believe no one grabbed that. <laughs> uh, but let's do some pulls from this little IKEA bag here because I can see some cute stuff, and I see the docks that I'm trying to get to for you guys. This one is a little raccoon neck pillow. By my critter pillar is <laughs> so cute. Hi, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. But yeah, so it's a little neck pillow as a raccoon and he's running right now for you guys. Um, but I'm glad you're doing good. I'm enjoying the sunshine today. It's been really nice here in Oregon. Four seconds left on that one. A little raccoon neck pillow is <laughs> so cute. All right, a um, beautiful color, colorful number in the blue bag. Colorful. Ooh, are you looking at the Trader Joe's bag? <laughs> this thing, this little tote bag, I'll run it for a dollar for you guys. I know you guys like your Trader Joe's bag, so I always pick them up for you guys. Um, this one's just Trader Joe's. It's just a little reusable bag. Yeah, I love run, um, finding these ones for you guys. And I always pick up the reusable bags. Jenny, congratulations. So running right now, if anybody wants it, little um, Trader Joe's reusable bag. But yeah, this is like my favorite bag they have in their line. So I always pick it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I have two of my own. So now I just pick them up for you guys. A little Trader Joe's piece. I <laughs> know the colors are so cute. They're perfect for markets too. Um, thank you, neighborhood. Two seconds left. I only found one today, but usually I find quite a bit. Thank you, thank you, neighbor. That's all yours. All right. And then we have, let's see. Hi, Casey, how are you? I'll just do this tote bag for a dollar as well. This one is on the Grow Tour, and it's like a little burlap um, canvas bag, and then it has really nice little maroon print to it as well. One dollar, and it's running right now if anybody wants that one. Nice little reusable tote bag. This one's really cute, and it says on the Grow Tour. But yeah, I like this one a lot. <laughs> all right two seconds left on that one number 13 thank you knife that's all yours great pickup i'm trying to pick up a lot of tote bags for the storefront as well to give to people and they shop and everything but like that would be like a nice little gift <laughs> um this is youth one size by field and stream cozy cabin it's brand new with the tags and it has a nice fleece like super fuzzy lining to it um <laughs> You have too many. I cleared out my tote closet, so I'm like looking for new ones now. Brand new with the tag, retail for $12, little beanie. Two seconds left on that one. Hi, Judy. Welcome in, everybody. All right, next up, this one 
is, aha, I knew I had this in here. I was so excited to find this. It's a little corset belt. So these are perfect for just putting over little t-shirts um, with like a little skirt even. It's very stretchy. I would say that this is gonna be like a pretty one size situation um, up to probably like an extra large. It's an underbust style. So you can even pull it up a little bit more. I think if you wanted, I, I was gonna say you could probably flip it over, but it's pretty pretty similar on both sides. So really nice, makes you look snatched. Um, and it's a one size situation running right now for you guys. No tags on it, but it's a very stretchy band on it. And then it has that little fake, well, let me hold it up, a uh, little fake corset to it. I mean, you could untie it if you wanted to. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are nice, especially in the summertime if you just wanted a little accessory piece. Thank you, Casey, I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, a hard to find plus size. And that's what I always try to find a lot for my um, goth drop for you guys. Um, thank you, Kate. It's all yours. Great pickup. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the Ren Fair would be so cute. No, I think you're going to love it, Casey. You'll love it. <laughs> cute. Okay, and then next up, you guys, this one. Oh, single stitch. Vintage. So good. I love finding a destination tee. And this one is Arizona. It has a little cacti in the center there. Single stitch. So it's true vintage, probably like 80s. 100% um, cotton, size large and men's made in the USA. Arizona, nice little neutral tee. And then it only had a little spot right here. And honestly, I would just crop it. I, I, I think it'd be really cute as a little crop tee. Um, size large and men's, but it'd be cute like a reverse dye as well if you did like a little bleach dye to it. Pair it with some little biker shorts if you keep it long. We're running right now for you guys. All right. Um, doesn't look good though. Thank you, see. I appreciate you. Such a good piece. I was really excited to find that one. Um, ooh, like a brown writ dye. I've been wanting to try that writ dye stuff. I keep watching people try it and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, thank you again. I appreciate you, see. Okay, next up, you guys, so this is another little funky dress for you. And yeah, let's see, size small. And this one is by Java Lava. Go with the flow. <laughs> I love a good funky tag. Um, Size small. And I would say it's going to be mid length for you. And it's a little kind of like, it kind of goes with that Arizona tea a little bit. <laughs> um, a little sundress. And I would say you could fit this up to a medium. It does have pockets on both sides as well. Running right now for you guys. Um, that's such a smart idea. I have like several pairs of black jeans that I need to re-dye. Speaking of the ones I'm wearing today. <laughs> Size small on this one. All right. Um, but yeah, I need to like go through my entire closet and just find stuff that needs to be dyed and just do like a whole day of just like like re-dyeing stuff. Size 3X up next. This is going to be perfect for the spring evenings or if it's a little chilly in the mornings for you guys. That's what it was today. It was so cold this morning and then by noon it was hot. <laughs> Zach and Rachel size 3X is just a little chambray button up in a nice denim color. Size 3X running right now for you guys and this one was by Zach and Rachel. Just a nice lightweight denim button up or chambray whatever you want to call it. You can roll the sleeves up as well. 3X on that one. Hi Prime. Hi. Welcome in everybody. Um, do you have a show schedule planned? Um, yes, Catalina. It's going to see the Monday through Thursday, basically. Yeah, not a lot will change, actually. <laughs> Hello Kitty up next. Size small. Size small on this one. And they just, oh, did you do uh, like bleach straight on? Because I made that mistake one time and it ate it. And you're supposed to, um, I think you have to dilute it with water if I remember right because I did it and it literally like my jeans were shredded I was like oh cool awesome <laughs> cool 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 so um you have to dilute with water yeah uh, but yeah that's what I did the same thing last summer when Lucas and I were doing a bunch of like reworks and stuff I destroyed several pieces because I had no idea I just did straight bleach whoops <laughs> you live and you learn um but this one is hello kitty size small running right now for you guys oh I see I see what you're saying Catalina yeah so I'm gonna be closed on the weekends except for every third Saturday of the month I'll be open from 11 to 8 p.m and then my plan is to be open Tuesday Wednesdays 11 to 3 and then Thursday Fridays Thursday Fridays 11 to 7 I think <laughs> that's the potential plan. I still need to um, like try it out and everything. And I also, it's just going to really depend on like the customer flow as well. And like what hours they're wanting to shop, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to kind of keep it a pretty basic schedule, closed Sunday, Mondays and some Saturdays. Well, um, this next one is another wrap dress. It has a high, low situation. I have to say, actually, this is a full maxi full maxi on this one just kidding <laughs> size extra large and it's a full length maxi 
where is it wrapped through? There it is. Okay. And it's a full wrap as well. It has the little hole on the side. <laughs> no, I won't, Sam. I'm sorry. I paid a lot of money for it, actually. <laughs> um, so here we go. Let's get this one running. Size extra large. It's a wrap style dress and it has this beautiful pink floral, very romantic look to it. True wrap style. So it's going to wrap around you and kind of create like a little bit of a v-neck to it and cinch at your waistline. Yeah, this one is really cute. Um, yes. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, Catalina. So the days that I'm not open to public or like the hour I'm not open to public, but I'm there. I'm just going to open up the storefront for appointments only and schedule to come shop one on one. And then I'll have to worry about like having or anything but yeah exactly <laughs> um this next one is maternity i just think this would be so cute for the springtime especially if you are expecting it has the little ruching on the side for your belly and it is a size medium running now and this one is like a fitted style little summer dress with a floral print maternity size medium by isabel and it's super stretchy as well two seconds left on that one really cute piece though i tried to find some maternity for you guys today too because i know that one's been requested hi Dre, how are you all right, let's do this one next. This looks cute. This one is a size extra, extra large from Old Navy. Hi, Barb. How are you? I had three for mine. It was great because uh, I used it to make appointments for myself and run errands when no one signed up. True. Honestly, that's what I need to do then. <laughs> so smart. This is really pretty. Extra, extra large on this one. Running now for you guys. Like a nice minty green color. A little bit of a bubble sleeve. And it's got some pleated details. It's going to be so cute for the springtime. Hi, Barb. How are you? Two seconds left on that one. Extra, extra large. Alrighty. And then next up, you guys, let's go ahead and do some more from this little bag. Here. Um, oh, this one was so cute. It does have a little flaw to it, but I just, I can't. I cannot leave wall that's like this behind, <laughs> especially when detailed. So this one is a little snap clip and it has three sections to it. You're alive. Well, I'm happy you're here and alive. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that life has been so rough for him. So it has like a little divider here and then it does have some wear on the inside and the flaw is coming disconnected on the side. It needs to be fabric glued back in, but honestly, it's really not that bad close it has like a little princess and there's like a castle and it's like a tapestry style isn't that gorgeous though anyways let's run it for you guys <laughs> um i just love vintage pieces like this i feel like you don't find them as much as you used to um and then it has a little divider in there as well for your um coins and your cash and your cards isn't that cute though two seconds left i feel like this is gonna fit the fairy tale romance drop very well <laughs> all right and then next up you guys those dogs first pair of docks that I have these ones are worn so I'm going to start with that make sure you guys know that these ones are worn but I will never leave a pair of docks behind because I feel like docks have a lot of life to give and even if they're little camping shoes these ones are a US 6 US 6 on these ones Doc Martens running right now and they're a leather um, kind of style to them as well size 6 they do have wear please keep that in mind but I just think they're so freaking cute I'll never pass them up on them <laughs> I always like put, I'll hesitate for a second then I'm like why they're Doc Martens <laughs> thank you see I appreciate you thank you thank you okay and I think there was one more pair in here Oh yes, and these ones are Chelsea's. These look like they're gonna be kids, um, a kid size, but they're so good. <laughs> no, I think so too, Sarah. I, I that's why I always just I pick them up because I'm like, if anything, they'll fit the grunge look, right? Hi, Ock, how are you? Um, uh, so these ones are a size three, size three, which is gonna be like a junior kid sizing. Okay, I mean, if you have a really really small foot, you might be able to get away with this, but they are really nice. Um, and nowhere in period height. <laughs> so true, honestly, for docs, that is so true because it is a pain to wear them in um so these ones are a kid size three chelsea boot they do have wear on your toes right there just keep that in mind hi lily i know i always find these chelsea boots and they're always a kid size three it's so weird like i literally always find the chelsea's from the docks and i wish i could find them in my size because they're so cute all right oh, what's grabbing them for five bucks all right <laughs> all right guys and then next up let's see this one okay this was an accident buy if anybody wants a mystery kids pack, um, this is literally a true mystery. There is literally going to be a Christmas boat right there. Um, but this is mostly kids toys. There's wooden fruit toys. There's some little felt toys in here. This is a mystery bag. Okay. We're just going to run it for a dollar. I don't think there's any full set in here as well. Oh, okay. Sounds good. No, Lily, I will get back to you. That's really weird. My Instagram says I have no messages. 
Send me another message, Lily. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, maybe you're in my DM request. If you've never messaged me before, that's possible that it got stuck in my DM request. So I will check my request tonight for you, okay? Um, I think I'm caught up on my Instagram DM. So if you have not received a response from me, just like send me another message because Instagram for some reason only shows me my first 20 messages and then anything after that it tells me I don't have messages so I, I don't know why but I always lose messages on Instagram <laughs> yes of course Lily so I'm just gonna run this for a dollar like I said this was an accident buy on me I did not know this was still in my cart so <laughs> um it's a surprise bag if anybody wants some random kids toys there's like little felt toys there's some wooden toys and then there's like little fruits as well but like I said you guys this is there's literally a fake spider in here this is the most random bag of toys i've ever seen cedar i hope you have so much fun playing with this and opening it up <laughs> it's like a full it's like one of those um you know those kids uh like the mystery like eggs that's what this is <laughs> thank you cedar okay and then next up i don't know why I, I must have just forgot to take it out honestly okay let's go ahead i just wanted to show you guys this because i thought this was so cool i love finding paper at the bins, which is such a weird thing to say, but like cards and stuff. And somebody donated their entire like blank card collection. So you know, I picked them all up. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yeah. There's little fruits and everything. It'll be perfect then. Uh, but, but yeah, so literally like a bunch of like blank cards and they're from lucky, which is like a really good card brand as well. Um, but yeah, literally just occasional cards so I pick these up for myself because I'm always looking for cards and you guys know if you've ever had to buy a birthday card it's like four dollars for a birthday card why <laughs> so anyways I grabbed that um let's see I think in this bag we're gonna call this one good so let me grab another bag let's see okay these ones are next I think this is the last pair of docs that I had Oh, I didn't even think about TJ Smart or TJ Smart, <laughs> TJ Maxx. That's a good idea. No, that's where I get my cards, the dollar store. <laughs> uh, but okay, so these next ones, you guys, they are worn in and I do have a pre-claim on these. So, and that's what I'm going to do, Kelly. I think I'm going to start collecting for a stationary. Um, you mean the $7 tree? And honestly, Catalina. Uh, but, but yeah, so I'm going to start collecting stationary and I think I would do um like a stationary style and it will have um, like party supplies and stuff, like vintage party supplies. So yeah, I'm working on something that, for that um, kind of like style, if that makes sense. And I think I'm include like books and planners in it too yeah i'm working on something <laughs> um these are on pre-claim so i cannot run them right now but if you are interested in these send me a message and you will be next up in line okay um these ones are vintage true vintage as well in a size 11 size 11 and i'm gonna assume that's a men's 11 vintage doc martin so they'd be a 12 and a half in women's and they do have wear on the top but if you've got a man looking for some docs He's gonna look, excuse me, hiccup. He's gonna look fly in those. Um, so if you are interested in those or you have someone that is, send them my way and I will put you next up in line. But I do have somebody ahead of you guys that has a request in. So I wanna make sure I'm fair. <laughs> um, I told you guys, this is random. When I do these hauls for you guys, I never know what I'm gonna get. These are just wooden beads because I wanted to make like a little garland. So, and it was in a Tupperware container. Found this little wicker basket to put some toys in at my storefront. Um, let's see what else we've got. Another little wicker basket that I'm gonna put jewelry in at the storefront. Yeah, well, they said that they're getting rid of the $1.25 in our area and going to a um, $1.50 already. Um, it really does add up, honestly. Okay, and then we found little Eeyore. He's so cute. I'll run him for you guys. Um, little Eeyore, he's Walt Disney World tagged. Um, and he, he's so cute. Well, Walt Disney World, he's got a Velcro tail on him. And he's just so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, Catalina, that's nuts. Yeah, and closing so many stores. It sucks, but it's like at the same time, I'm like, why y'all changing? <laughs> Running right now, little Eeyore, and he's got his little tail in the back, and he's Walt Disney World. He's so cute, though. Um, from Wrigley to my chickens. Oh, no. Hi, mother. I've just been like hanging out with you while you take care of your chickens. I love that. Thank you for taking me along for the ride. Okay, this next thing, I think I got this for Zorro. Oh, no, I think it went with this. Oh yeah. Okay. They were McDonald's toys from 1995 and there's two of them. Um, so I got a little sheep and then there's a little mouse. 
<laughs> they're so random, but I just thought they were so cute. Um, and here we go. Let's run them as well for you guys, just in case anybody wants them. They're 1995 McDonald's babe toys. Um, and they have the little date on them as well. But the little mouse, he literally, oh, I'm throwing them. The, the sheep is flying. Okay, got the sheep. <laughs> but anyways, I know we were on a field trip. Look how cute he is. We were on a field trip to wrangle in some chickens and we didn't even know it. You never know what's going to happen here. <laughs> okay, this next one is a little accessory. We're kind of in like a random bag right now, you guys. Um, like this bag is what hangs off of my cart and I just stuff it with like trinkets and books and like purses. So we're kind of going through that part of it right now. So a little break from clothing. I hope that's okay. I told you guys this, this show gets random really fast. This next one does not have a tag and I'm making sure it doesn't. I didn't see a tag, but it's a huge scarf. And I thought this would be so pretty to wrap around as a little swim cover up, um, or even as like a little kind of like shawl style, but it's like this really pretty light pastel orange. And then it has like a lilac purple pattern to it. Um, and here we go running right now anybody wants that but yeah I thought it'd be a really cute little accessory just to even tie around your waistline to have as a little cover-up for the beach um two seconds left on that <laughs> you're like I don't I don't know never mind <laughs> oh that almost fell okay and then let's see we've got oh these are just random books I found because I think I'm gonna have a bookshelf in my storefront so I've been trying to oh, that'd be cute with a little table cover-up um I've been trying to find books for my store as well so I found a big book of soup. <laughs> this is from, I think it was from 2004. So it's like 2004 soup recipes. I felt like that would just be perfect in my store. <laughs> um, no, no, you're not a baby. Baby. <laughs> this one is beautiful American. Oregon. It's just like a picture book of Oregon, which I just thought was so cute. Uh, but no, I know. And that's literally what I was thinking for the books in mind is if you take the cover off, they look so good. And then this was this little journal like notebook. I also found today somebody's um, budgeting planner from 2004. Tell me why this lady in 2004 had $74,000 in her bank account and she just donated it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, maybe you are young. <laughs> no, literally. Uh, but I can't open like a planner that's like budgeting planners at the bins, you know? It's like you know, like sometimes in the negatives or sometimes it's like, they're working with like 400 bucks, right? I'm like, I can relate. Anyways, no, this lady's budget binder. I was like, I literally every single page I went through cause I was like, where's the cash? There's gotta be cash. <laughs> but anyways, kid you not, you guys, the first page budget starts at $74,000. I was like, bro, that, that is a lot of money. Like that's, and then I was like, what's the date? And I looked at the date. No, these were like transactions. Like she had bank receipts in there as well with $74,000 on it. And I was like, how old is this book? 2004. Do you know how much that is worth now? Like 74,000 in 2004? That was 20 years ago. What did she do? I don't know, but she was living it up, I guess. <laughs> I ain't budging and jack shit with 24. No, literally though, I don't even know. Like, I was just like, but yeah, I went through the whole, I was so nosy. I was like, oh, wow. And it had like all of her expenses and everything. Like I was just like, her rent was like $600. I was like, okay, who is this person? <laughs> Rich husband. Yeah, apparently I have, I have no idea. I was so shook by it. I should have just bought it just to show you guys. Cause I was just like, but Goodwill was going to charge me like $2.29 since it was a hardcover. So I was like, I'm just going to leave this. Um, <laughs> who is she? And can she adopt me? No, uh, literally, like, I was just like, that's a lot of money in 2004. <laughs> like, Swan Story 5. <laughs> but no, it's it just to learn. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to study your budgeting because this is interesting, right? Like, goals, literally. Like, I was just like, what? Okay. Nuts. Uh, who knows? Maybe it was all a joke. It was April Fool's today, so who knows? But I was just like, can you imagine? Like just seventy four dollars that you're just or seventy four thousand dollars that you're just like, yeah, I should probably budget today. <laughs> Yikes. Anyways, I found some uh, little wicker trivets for my store because I don't know what I want to do with my walls yet. So I was like, maybe I'll put some little trivets up. All right, and then I found a wicker purse. I'm gonna run this one for you guys. Sorry, we're back to running now. This one's tag was cut out on the inside. Um, right? <laughs> no, I literally looked in every page because I was like, there's gotta be some kind of like cash in here. Nothing though. I was hoping though. I was like, man, hopefully they tuck something. 
just a little bit. <laughs> Um, and that's, it's really weird too, because I found three budget planners today. One of the ones was like a little more modern where it had like each folder that was labeled like car, house, groceries, you know, and that one was like more modern, but I went through all those folders too. I was like, where's the cash at? <laughs> she budgeted for herself. <laughs> running right now this one is a big wicker bag it has like a maroon and neutral stripe to it as well um hi orla four seconds left on that one big wicker bag and it is lined as well with a little pocket on the inside hi alicia welcome in everybody okay and then next up you guys let's go ahead and oh perfect i found this bench i thought it'd be cute i'm gonna sand it down um and make it all pretty again <laughs> but anyways i thought that'd be perfect for my store as well okay back to clothing Next up, size extra large, men's. This one does have a little discoloration, but I think it makes it look way cooler. Um, this one is vintage. Sorry, a bunch of stuff just fell. Scared me. <laughs> vintage men's, extra large. So the discoloration is like, it's two different hues of, and it's, it's showing pretty good on the camera. You see what I'm saying? It kind of worn in look to it. We're just going to run it for a dollar. It's a men's extra large and it's corduroy. I have this exact one in a dark green and I love it. I wear it all the time. It's just a little throw on, especially in the mornings when it's a little chillier. Size extra large in men's Eddie Bauer. I just thought it was so cool. It had like the perfect fading to it too. I think it looks nice and worn in. Hi, MB. How are you? Welcome in everybody. Jay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. That's all yours. Number 18. Oh, wow. And then let's see. We've got up next this one is good this one's a little hoodie with a v-neck by airy in a size small and again this one will be a dollar as well because it does have a raw hem to it i'm not sure if it's factory or not i found these with like the raw look to it as well but i think this one was probably post purchase <laughs> someone made it a v-neck um but it's tagged to say small from airy we're just gonna run it for a dollar definitely has like the like slouchy look to it and it's running right now if anybody wants that it's a size small airy and then it has like the raw neckline to it um dang it <laughs> i'll keep an eye out for more corduroys like that okay um actually there's another corduroy coming up it's kind of buried right now but i'll try to get to it thank you sammy that is all yours number 19. okay and then we have let's see this one is White House Black Market in a size extra small. This one's really pretty. There we go. Extra small White House Black Market. Oh, dang it. I think it has a little spot right there. It's super hard to see, but I'll try washing it out. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Next up, we have a... I think this one was H&M, but it is their Coachella collection, which I have actually never seen before. Let me tie the strap so that you guys can see this in its glory. Okay. How does this tie? I'm like, what the heck? Okay, there we go. If I can remember how to tie a knot now. So, it's a romper. Oh no, what did I do? I see, I see, it's a high neckline. I was like, what is going on? Okay, this is a size small or a size four from H&M and Coachella collection. It is a romper that is high neckline. So it's got a high neck to it. There we go, there we go. And it cinches at your waist here, has pockets, and then it has the little uh, romper bottom to it. So it's not a dress, but it does kind of look like one. And I'm gonna put it on a hanger and hopefully that'll give it the shape that it deserves. It's a little bit better. <laughs> Size small romper, Coachella H&M crossover. And it does have pockets on it. And then the back of it is an open V. So it's got a really big open back to it. You can totally wear like a little bralette with it. And it does have the pockets. That's cute though. I feel like I did not do that justice. It needs to be put on a mannequin. <laughs> um, okay, the next up, you guys, this one is Disney and their little lounge pants in a size large size large little mickey mouse sweatpants and they do have pockets on both sides these are really soft and stretchy four seconds left on those ones little disney mickey mouse sweats they're really cozy <laughs> they're like a nice lightweight material okay and then next up you guys this one is a little pair of green shorts i actually got these ones i'm gonna try them on sorry i'm having a pre-claim <laughs> they're a size medium they're old navy but they're kind of like the y2k old navy tag and they're a high-waisted green short with like big pockets 
I have a bunch of these shorts that I just got in today. So if you guys um, like this style, feel free to DM me what your size is because I will find them for you guys. I've been finding them a bunch. Um, hi, Marty. How are you? Okay, next up, you guys, this one is a size large and it says, I'm fine. If, if F is for feeling overwhelmed, I is for I'm not all right. Yeah, I'm fine. If N is for not being able to sleep and E for every night. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Same. Um, <laughs> this one is I'm fine and the front as well size large. It does have a little spot at the front right here. I have not tried stain treating this. I just got it. So size large on this one, 44 orange cargo shorts. Noted. I will find you some Barb. <laughs> um, and here we go. Yes. With the shirt. That's literally what I was thinking. I was like, let's get a safari vibe running right now. If anybody wants that one size large and it says I'm fine. And then it has the quote on the back here. I think it's their song lyrics, right? Sammy, thank you so much. Size large on this one. Yeah, I'm fine if, and then it spells out fine. Um, two seconds left on that one. Sammy, thank you so much. That is all yours. Party pick up. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, of course, Barb. Yeah, I appreciate when you guys put in requests like that. I can't I'll find something, but it does help me kind of like manifest. <laughs> um, next up is a little rainbow sweater in a size large. This is Gap and it's a size large knit sweater, rainbow color, size large on this one running right now. Gap, oh, so cute little rainbow sweater and it's a knit material in a size large. Thank you, Live Thrift Love. This is four seconds left on that one. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yours, great pickup. And we got, oh, just kidding, Sammy's coming in the lead. Thank you so much. We've got 20 more minutes of this show, you guys. So I'll run one more giveaway for you guys as well. Um, and then I've got my appointment I gotta get to. <laughs> thank you, Live Thrift Love. That is all yours. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Number 21. I'll try to pick up the pace too, so that way you guys can see more. Um, I'll turn sudden death on for the next few bids, okay? Lurking class up next. This one is a barbed wire knit. This one is so sick. Um, I was gonna leave it behind because it has this tiny little yellow marking right here. But I was like, I feel like this is too cool to leave behind. So it's a little cropped sweater and it's a size large size large on this one from lurking class it's just so sick and i feel like lurking class has such quality pieces running right now for you guys lurking class size large barb wire i think this is going to be so cute with some like cropped denim shorts thank you alicia four seconds left on this one glad you like it arden i thought of you when i saw it <laughs> all right alicia thank you all righty next up you guys this one is oh this one is so sick I love this one. FB Juniors, it's 69% acrylic, 16% wool, 12% Angora rabbit hair, and 3% nylon. Um, it's too hot here, you're like, I'll sweat. Um, size medium, and it's Angora hair, it's so soft. But how sick is that knit? I just think this is so cool. Size medium, true vintage running right now. Wool and Angora rabbit hair blend, very soft knit, and it has this really cool pattern coming through. Oh, I didn't even think about pianos, that's cute. Ooh, I like this one, I just thought it was so cool. I found a few vintage sweaters today that I was really excited about. I feel like I always find sweaters in like the off season and they're always the best ones. <laughs> Hi Mary, how are you? Thank you, Catalina. Size 4X up next. These ones are so cute for the springtime. They're going to be best for a 2X, 3X. They're Shein Curve. Hi Hannah, welcome in everybody. Um, I know, I know. I have so many sweaters right now. Running right now, it's size 4X, but would be best for like a 2X, 3X. I just think they're so fun for the springtime. All right. These are going to be really cute in my shop too. I was excited to find the plus size that I did. Okay, next up, you guys, this one is a wrap skirt. I always find these and I'm always so excited. Let me find it first. There we go. Okay, these are a one size situation wrap skirt. It is layered and this one is going to be a one size fits most. I think it's, I don't know if it's a sari, is it? And let's see, I'll try to show you guys an example of how it's going to fit as well. So it's a true wrap skirt. So you put your tie through right there and then you tie it on the side as well. Um, 70 plus, oh my gosh, that's so hot. I would not be able to handle that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so here we go. Full wrap style skirt on it. And then it has the little peak of pink and it does layer itself as well. You could totally flip it if you wanted a different pattern. Um, it's a full wrap. I would say this would go up to a size XL just because it's so tr like true to a wrap style. Cause like it has all the space on the side here. Um, but yeah, so 
here we go. Let's get this one where, um, going for you guys. Isn't it pretty though? Uh, but we got running right now and it's like a one size fits most situation. I think it is silk as well. I gotta just pull it down from me. Here we go. <laughs> Doesn't stop me from wearing black. Hey, you don't have to wear like long sleeves per se. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, running right now, a little flip of the pattern. You can totally wear it inside out if you want to, and it would have more layers to it. Um, and it is a wrap style. I know I'm not doing it a lot of justice. That's why I wanted to throw it on to show you guys. Thank you so much, Stacy, for your first purchase. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I don't think I could live somewhere where you didn't have multiple seasons. Of course. Welcome to the Swan Squad. Um, I really enjoy having like the switches of seasons, you know, here in Oregon, even though like we don't really have like a true winter, we still have like a some somewhat of a winter where it's like still cold out. Um, next up, you guys, let's go ahead and do what this is. Okay, this one, I, I don't know if I'll run it just in case somebody wants it and they want to do the project. It is a Abercrombie & Fitch oversized tee, size medium, and it is um, soft to A and F fleece is what they're calling it. It's a mock neck crew oversized in a medium so built it up to a large extra large has bleaching so somebody needs to reverse diet if you're gonna go for it if not i will <laughs> and i'll run it for a dollar because of that i bought it specifically to dice if anybody wants to do the project for me there you go so oh, soft it's still really cute too um and this one was abercrombie and fitch oversized size medium and then it has wyoming on the front there thank you see that is all yours and let me know how it turns out <laughs> um and then let's see um true true i was just gonna say well oh where is that i found a black cotton wrap top today Oh, here's some more black stuff. Let's run these things. You guys will like these. Size extra large. This one is so cute. This is Old Navy. And it's like a satiny top with a uh, little V neckline. It ties at the top as well. It's like a peplum satiny feel. It's so nice. Running right now for you guys, size extra large. And it's Old Navy, little black satin blouse. And it's like new. It's so pretty though. Jenny, congratulations. Two seconds left on that one. Extra large. And I know I've got some more right here too. Let me see what else I got. Oh, oh, this one's cute. <laughs> this one has removable pads. Let's see if it has a size tag. All the way at the bottom. Rhonda Sheer size extra large. This is cute. This is a little kind of like a tank top sleepwear piece. Hi, Carly. How are you? Um, I know. I know, Jenny. You're lucky duck. You got to go go get a lottery ticket. <laughs> so this one has like a built-in padding that you can remove if you don't like that. And then it does have a lacy bottom to it as well. I'm doing good. I'm happy with the sunshine today. So I'm, I'm feeling good. I listened to some rock coming home and I'm just like vibing today. It's kind of like a shapewear feel. Yeah. So it's going to be like fitted, maybe pull you in a little bit and then it has this lacing detail in the back here as well tagged an extra large by Rhonda wear and it's running right now I know Catalina I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet so they're both scheduled right now until I make a decision <laughs> thank you for checking though I appreciate you looking out for me size extra large on that one okay and then let's see we've got let's see I'll put the stuff you guys don't want into this tote actually that'll work perfect Okay, this one is a size large. This would be so cute for the Boho Coastal drop. Um, it did not say a cup size. I would say maybe like a D cup, maybe a double D. This one is going to go in the Boho Coastal if no one grabs it. Size large, Marises, really pretty little sheer top. And then it does have a little lace up detail right here as well. And it is sheer. Um, yeah, that's right. I forgot there's a menswear show tomorrow. Maybe. It's going to depend on what Lucas is feeling like. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Sarah. No worries at all. Um, it's a possible maybe. <laughs> I got to figure out what we're doing tomorrow night. Because I know tomorrow night I'm supposed to go meet with my grandpa to plan out the dimensions for the... Uh, What's it called? The, the store counter. Um, I know I am being rough on you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this one is size large by Lolo Vita and it's a completely lace loose knit style sweater. So it has lace coming down your sleeves right here and then it's a very loose knit. So it's not heavy at all. Kind of like a semi sheer, very stretchy size large on this one running right now for you guys. This one is really cute. Lacy details coming down the sleeve here and then it has a nice little mock neck and then a looser knit. So it's going to be lightweight, a nice and airy 
Mary for you. All right, size large on that one. Thank you, Sarah. That is all yours. Hi, April. How are you? <clears throat> yes, I think so. I, I'm hoping so. I'm a little bit short on kids' clothing right now, but I have been sourcing like crazy for it, so I'm hoping I will have it happen. Um, this week is just going to have to a little bit of a shuffle tonight just because I'm still trying to figure out what drops are like stocked up and which ones aren't um because I had to take last week off for the estate sale it's going good April it's coming along pretty quick and feels nice it's like starting to like come together as well so it Kind of like taking away that stress of like what am i doing <laughs> so it's, it's coming together thank you yeah exactly it's a surprise week this week and i appreciate your guys's patience as i figure it out and kind of get back onto a schedule nice little stretchy back on this one this is um old navy and a size large and i'm pretty sure it's 100 percent linen nope 55% linen 45% cotton and it's nice and lightweight it's a nice little black wrap trap um wrap top Ooh. um and then it does tie on the side right here as well so it's like a little crossover and then it has little ruffles in the sleeves there thank you Sarah I know I'm really excited for the grand opening and I think I am gonna plan to stream the entire thing as well thank you that is all yours number 26 all right and then we have let's see <clears throat> This one is Auden. It's a little bralette. This one's really pretty. It's kind of like a burgundy maroon color. Yes, of course. I know we hit like a little patch. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to live stream the entire grand opening all day. Um, I think it'll be on Whatnot. Um, I'm thinking I'll do it on Whatnot and then I'll stream on TikTok as well. It'll just depend on like where I can set up tripods and everything, if that makes sense. Okay, and this one is Auden and it is no padding. You can, I think, add some if you wanted to. 34 double D. Uh, no padding on this one, actually. 34 double D. Running right now for you guys. Little Auden bralette with a nice no padding, but it does have adjustable straps and a little wire at the center there. Two seconds left. Um, but yeah, I think I am no matter what going to stream here on Whatnot, the grand opening. And I do have it scheduled, so you guys are welcome to go bookmark it if you guys want to see it. Um, or you just want to snoop and watch me do it. <laughs> um, size large, Shein up next. Really cute. It's a little Shein crop. It has a little... Uh, on the sides right here so it's super stretchy and then it does have a little wide sleeve to it as well running right now absolutely Sarah I'll run it right after this for you I gotta find it really quick size large on this one from Shein little black crop top and then it has the smocking on it and this one's gonna be cute with some little high-waisted shorts okay and then let me grab that wallet uh oh possibly <laughs> yes Sarah um here, let me take and put some of this down here because I am I think I buried it. <laughs> oh, it's right here actually, just kidding. Perfect. And then let me run it for you. Thank you, Sarah. Here we go. A little vintage wallet running right now for you guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. Number 27. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Sarah. That is all yours. It's so cute. <laughs> all right. And then let's see. We are gonna go ahead and we'll just keep pulling from over here because this is like a little good tote right here. Um Thank you. Thank you so much, Catalina. All right. This one is, it's tagged to 2X from the Goodwill. It's a handmade button down jacket. It has all the buttons. It's a corduroy material. And I would say this is going to be best for a 1X. Best for a 1X. Yes, of course. Of course. Thanks for asking. Little spring floral corduroy button up. Best for a size 1X if you're wearing it openly 2X. So I, um, two seconds left on that. X on that one. This is going to be best and it's handmade. Okay, and then we have, let's see, let's do this one. It's a little bralette. This one does have removable padding. Auden size large and it's like a little pink bralette with lace. Removable pads on this one. Auden size large running right now for you guys. Little pink lace, um, little bralette. Removable padding, adjustable straps in the back there as well. Alrighty, and then we have, hi Erica, how are you? This one more bra right here. We'll do this one too. Size extra large. This one's pretty. No padding on this one, just like a little balconette style. Size extra large and a lilac purple. This one's so pretty, running right now for you guys. Extra large, no lining on it, all lace. Hey, thank you so much, Erica. I appreciate that. I hope you did too. You did too. All right, Lotus, thank you so much. That is all yours. Two seconds left on that one. Size extra large, and it does have adjustable straps. Thank you so much, Lotus, for your first purchase. Welcome to the Swan Squad. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Number 28. All right, we've got probably like five more items we can go through, and then I'm probably going to have to skedaddle. Let's see, this one is purple snow. 
size extra large. It's another cute little kind of Western style. It's got a cold shoulder to it, size extra large pink dress. Um, and it's gonna hit about knee length for you in a baby pink color. Running, oops, right now for you guys, there we go. And it has that little cold shoulder flutter sleeve, size extra large in like a nice light pink color. Really cute for the springtime as well though. Hi Ozzy, how are you? Hi Swan, welcome in everybody. Next up, we've got Abercrombie and Fitch. This one is a size large. This one's really nice. Yeah, I do, Jenny. Um, let me see. I think I do at least. I'll try and pull some jeans up next, okay? Um, yes, it is, Lulu. <laughs> Hi, Ozzy. Thank you so much. I hope you did too. How are you? Happy Monday. Size large, Abercrombie and Fitch open knit. Nice little cardigan. This one's really soft. This is gonna be so cute for the spring and summertime because it's nice and lightweight. Pair this with some little wide leg denims. Um, and it is a run in right now. Let's hear it, Catalina. And there we go. See, nope, everything is gonna be pre left condition. And you to wash it um, and that goes for most items in the um, category for my store. I always recommend that you wash when you receive your items just to play it safe. Size large. Life is good. Life is cool. <laughs> life is good. Um, and this one says camp life is good. Stay positive. Yay. Good. True. That's true. It's the next day, huh? <laughs> All right, and that one was a size large. I always forget that you're literally like a whole day ahead of me. <laughs> well, I hope that you had a good weekend and a good Monday. <laughs> Size large. Up next, you guys, this one ties at the front by She and Sky. This is really pretty. It's nice and lightweight. Oh, there's a little spot right there. We'll run this one for a dollar, and it looks like it should wash out as well, okay? Um, Dunkin' Donuts was a basketball. <laughs> That's actually such a good one, Catalina. And now I'm going to refer to basketball teams as the Dunkin' Donuts. So thank you. <laughs> That is hilarious. Size large, she and sky, and it ties there. And I, I just need to wash. We were talking about it last week, how I'm so bad with sports. I just named them random things. And I think that's going to take it. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, and then we have, let's do this one, Star Wars, Mandalorian. I've got probably like five more minutes. Size large, Star Wars, Dunkin' Donuts from Dallas. <laughs> you never heard of them? I'll just gaslight people and tell them it's a thing. <laughs> Just kidding. That Mandalorian size large crew neck running right now. Mandalorian, and it is a size large Star Wars tag on that one. And then it has the graphic coming down the sleeve as well. This one's cute. Mandalorian on that one, size large. Thank you, Sammy. Ooh, hiccup. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sammy. That is all yours. Great pickup. See if I can crank out a few more. Okay, and then next up, you guys. Oh, sorry, 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 Mary. Running right off. Two seconds left. <laughs> um, and the man, and the man, probably better than the man's here. <laughs> I was like, what? What man's maps? <laughs> Number 30. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mary. That is all yours. Great pickup. Okay. And then next up, you guys, this one is a dog tee in a size large from Dog is Good. Um, you're fine. Oh my goodness. Don't, don't feel bad. I'm the same way. <laughs> Ending nerds and that's I'm sure. Probably, honestly. It's all fun and games until someone ends up in a cone. Size large on this one running right now. Nice little blue long sleeve. <laughs> Zeus would relate. Uh, but two seconds left on that one. Zeus hates his cones. <laughs> it is true, honestly. Sleeve. All right, and then we have, let's see, this one is Under Armour, size extra large for men, loose fit. This one's really nice. Hi, I'm Carter. How are you feeling? Size extra large. Oh, this is good. Size XL, and it's like a nice dark blue half zip, extra large in mint. Running now. Um, new attack, Lulu. Nope, I do not, Lulu. All right, Live Thrift Love starting the bid. Thank you so much. Running right now. Four seconds left on that one. Live Thrift Love is going to take it for a steal. Thank you so much. That is all yours. Um, cats and onesies. Ooh, that's smart. Honestly, Zoro would probably hate me, but I feel like that would probably work really well for him. <laughs> he did not. I don't think he had a cone, did he? Oh, no, he did have a cone, now that I remember. And he hated it. <laughs> um, vintage jersey, size 2X. Up next, this one is so good. It's a vintage crew neck with, like, a knit material. Size 2X, running right now. Vintage, and it's, like, a beautiful, kind of, like, an olive, sagey green color. Um... Oh, that's so smart. Somebody else just told me about that. They got him, their dog, like an inflatable uh, pizza cone. And it was so cute because the dog just had a big pizza around its face. <laughs> okay, and then let's do a few more. Then I'm going to have to hop off because I've got to go to my appointment. I know somebody asked for more jeans. Let me see if I can find another. These ones are size 10, Lucky Brand jeans. These are really nice, actually. 
I don't remember the size that you were asking for, Jenny. I'm so sorry. Size 10. And they're um, lucky brand on these ones. Size 10. Um, size 10 slash 30 regular fit on these ones. High waisted and a nice medium wash. Size 6. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much, Sarah. <laughs> um, and running right now for you guys. No problem, Lulu. I don't know if you're in the right spot then. Alicia, thank you so much. That is all yours. Number 32. Ready. And let's see. Number 32. Thank you. Thank you. And there we go. Let's see if I can try and pull another pair of jeans for you, Jenny. I thought I had more jeans in here. And watch, I'm probably going to tell you that I don't, I can't find any off the top. And then I'm going to end the show and find them. <laughs> Prada size zero, dang it. <laughs> um, I do get them a visual, uh, occasionally, but unfortunately you might be having better luck in a palette pull situation. Um, but we're here, we kind of focus on secondhand and sustainability. Size zero or a size 25 Prana, and they're kind of like a dark black, dark blue color. And they do have a little bit of stretch Prana on those ones. Let me see if I've got any more, Jenny. <laughs> I'm like trying now, I'm like on a hunt. Make sure I didn't miss any in here. None in there. Sorry, guys, they're just looking at my butt, probably. <laughs> Aha! Ooh, Jenny, I hope these are your size. <laughs> size 28. I think that's a six. I think that's a six. High waisted. Um, and they're super stretchy as well. They're a nice dark wash page jean. These are expensive. Size 28 and they're in great condition. Goodwill was asking $29.99 running right now. Size 28, high waisted on those ones. Yay, Jenny. <laughs> I was like, please tell me they're your size. <laughs> high waisted. And this is a good pair too, page. And they're in great condition. Nice medium wash, high waisted. Alicia's gonna take them. I know, I was like, I know there's another pair of jeans. And I think there's some more I can run for you guys too really quick. I do need to skedaddle in the next few minutes though. All right. Thank you so much, Jenny. Those are all yours. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy you got those. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Great pickup. All right. And then number 33. Okay, Lulu, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let you out. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and take care of that. <laughs> Thought I made it pretty clear, but maybe I didn't. Um, anyways, you guys, <laughs> you're fine, Alicia. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm just going to make it clear, you guys. It's secondhand here. Um, I do find occasionally new with tags, but I think most of you guys know that. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got another pair of jeans. These ones are Lovers and Friends Denim, and they're a size, let's see. Um, <laughs> I know, I, I could go in my whole, like, argument of, like, you stuff. Like, if you go to a hotel, everything is secondhand there. And if you go, go eat at a restaurant. Anyways, but I'm not gonna. It's just not worth the time. <laughs> um, hey, Krista, how are you? So these ones are in size 28 by Lovers and Friends Denim, size 28. And they've got a good stretch to them as well. Running now for you guys. Hi, how are you? Yeah, nope. That's no, exactly. I might as well just let her go. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's so crazy, Arden. That's why I do what I do. All right. Lift your love. What a great pickup. Thank you so much. Those are all yours. All right. Let's see if we can do a few more. We'll do a few more, you guys. Thank you, Live Thrift Love. I appreciate you. Number 34. Yeah, the odd umbrella. Absolutely. I'm like over here. You guys are testing my memory of where I put them. <laughs> Size large, odd and bralette running right now for you. And it does have removable pads, adjustable straps as well. Size large. Thanks for joining everybody. Welcome, welcome. Mary, thank you so much. All right, make it fun. Oh, okay. I have one that I want to show you guys before we end the show. And it's going to be the one we end on because it's a banger. Um, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I do have a pair of Lulus actually, ironically, which is so funny. Mary, thank you so much. But they're not new with tags. <laughs> um, thank you. Oh, perfect night. I'm so glad. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So thank you so much. I appreciate you, Mary. Let's see. Okay. I'll do one more random grab. Okay. I just won't look. I'm going to like go deep. Oh, it's super soft. I'm grabbing whatever this is. It's so soft. What is this? Oh, this is airy. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. I thought the next one was going to be good, but this is good. I'm going deep. <laughs> Um, okay, this is right, exactly, Barb. Or literally, lift her fluff, hit it on the head, though. <laughs> it's liquidation because the stores couldn't sell it. Um, okay. 
this is good. This is Aerie. Um, it is a size extra small slash small. It is like new. Airy open front. This is so cute. If I try this on, you guys know I'm a I'm gonna want to keep it. <laughs> so cute for the spring and summertime. Like a little slouchy show. Oh, and it's so soft. This would fit up to an extra large fine. Honestly, you could probably go up to an XXL if you wanted like a tighter fit. This is so good, you guys, and it's like new. Here we go. Let's run this one for you guys. Oh, so good, though. Airy running right now for you guys. Absolutely stunning. It's so soft. I kid you not, whoever gets this, you're going to open your box and be like, ooh. <laughs> and he bought, what? Catalina, no. Three seconds left on that one. Alicia, thank you so much. One size fits most. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, you are going to be obsessed with this and never want to take it off. <laughs> okay. The final piece. Are we ready? I was so excited to find this. It, it does have some wear. So you keep that in mind. Okay, it's vintage. Uh, so it's not as noticeable in person, but this is vintage Sears in a size 42. It is a corduroy jacket, corduroy men's jacket, and it has a black faux fur lining. And it's a, and I am just obsessed to say the least. So it's a vintage Sears piece. It has the chore pockets, the button details, and then it's corduroy. And it's like the prettiest green corduroy. And the wear part is right here on this elbow. It's not super noticeable. You might be able to treat it. Not sure. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I would say like a large, extra large in women's. Okay. Running right now. Last piece of the night. Um, oh yeah. You can even put a little patch on that, but it's just, that's just precious vintage Sears. It has the corduroy and then it has the faux fur lining and it's lined with that faux fur as well. Such a steal. Who's taken that Jen. Thank you so much. That is all yours. Thank you. Okay. That would be so cute. Little like suede elbow patches on that. What a steal. Thank you so much, Jen. Okay, and then that one is going to be number 37. I don't think I have time for one more, but I really want to do one more. But I said this would be my last one. So I'm going to make it my last one. <laughs> um, one more. Okay, should we do another mystery poll? That was kind of fun. I'm going deep again. I don't know what this is. Oh, this one's so cute. Um, okay, wait, I was going to keep this one for myself. So that's not fair to you guys. It's the trees of the Pacific Northwest. Obviously, I'm keeping that. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay, we're going one more. Because I want that one. And that's not fair. <laughs> okay, well, this one's kind of lame, though, for an ending. Extra small. I think this would be really cute with some little wide leg beach pants. Extra small Route 21 running now. And I'll do one more after this because this one isn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Extra small <laughs> running right now. Nice little crop top from Route 21. I, I don't think this one is as cool as I wanted it to be. Um, <laughs> now you guys are going to get me in here for another 20 minutes. Uh, make me late to my appointment. Just kidding. Lotus, thank you so much. That is all yours. Thank you, Alicia. I also love it. It's one of my favorites in my closet. So thank you. For a while, it did not fit me and I was really sad about that. Okay, let's see. Let's end you guys on a good piece. Can I end you guys on a kid's piece? Because this is so good. I'm going to I'm gonna end you guys on a kid's piece, okay? Because this one's good. This one is Baby Llama. It's handmade. And it is a size. No size. It's going to be like a one size situation for kiddos. I would say like a kid's small, okay? <laughs> so cute. Hi, Hannah. It was good. How was yours? How freaking cute is that though? It's a little patchwork knit sweater, handmade, and it has a little hood. It's a little gnome hood. In the back, it has a rain seam, and then in the front, it has the sun seam. Do I need this for my dog? <laughs> it's so cute. So it's like a poncho, okay? And then it has little sleeves. I would say like a kid's small to like a kid's medium, okay? Isn't that adorable? If I ever find this in adult size, you guys know I'd be picking it up for you. So running the final piece of the evening. This is so freaking cute though. It's like that little gnome hat that makes me so happy. Um, it's so cute. <laughs> You're like, you'll fit. Just squeeze, okay? Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> the little dog, there's a little bunny rabbit, a little dog, and then the duck on the back with the little bunny. So cute. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carter. Welcome in, everybody. All right, you guys. I think that was, well, now we're on 39. We might as well do one more. Make it an even 40. Let's do one more. Let's do... 
You guys are a bad influence on me. Ooh, we can do like a sexy lingerie. Or a neutral, let's do a neutral piece. Cupcakes and cashmere, extra large. This is officially the last one. <laughs> encore, encore. Extra large, cupcakes and cashmere. This is a really good brand too. Little button down cardigan, cable knit, um, and then it has the full button down as well. Here we go, last piece of the night, extra large. Cupcakes and cashmere, nice little neutral. Is it new with tags? I don't think it's new with tags. Looks like it. <laughs> I see Catalina, you're just joking. <laughs> Running great right now. Size extra large cupcakes and cashmere. Oh, isn't that cute though? I just love this one. Full button down. Lift or fluff is taking it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. 40 sold. I appreciate you guys. Little grandpa core. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. So I've got an appointment I got to get to. <laughs> uh, but, but thank you everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate you all so much. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I know I have multiple shows scheduled, so please go bookmark them. Make sure you have my follow button hit and that you have my little notification on so you don't miss it. Thanks for being here, you guys. I hope you guys have a good evening. Thank you for being here, Ozzy. I hope you have a good Wednesday. <laughs> um, and I hope that you guys all have a great Tuesday for the rest of you. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow plan for probably 3.30 per usual show time. Um, I mean, athletic athleisure show, okay? But yeah, so I super soon okay um i will also be posting some sneak peeks at the store tomorrow when the paint we're gonna go see it tonight and see how it looks i'll try and post an update for you guys but yeah so thanks for hanging out with me for the haul we got through quite a bit so there's not a lot left to go through so thank you you made my job easy <laughs> um but yeah so i'll see you guys all tomorrow 3 30 per usual i hope you guys have a great evening thanks again for hanging out with me i always appreciate your guys's time and just wanting to be here. You guys are the best. So I don't deserve you all. But anyways, I'll see you guys all on Tuesday. Today's Monday, Riley. Come on. Tuesday. <laughs> see you guys all soon. Okay. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye, everybody. See you guys all